dear sixth sim cse stream students welcome back into another video hope you are all doing well and hope you have completed your preparation for your first subject software engineering and project management today i am with the full stake development 21 cs62 this is your second uh, subject uh, so model wise important questions i will discuss in this particular video as it is the newly introduced subject for uh, you students for 21 stream students right so let me discuss here from the model first itself expand web uh, framework describe uh, different types of web frameworks also expand benefits of using web development frameworks explain the errors in django with a suitable illustration with a neat diagram expand mvc design pattern and explain advantages of mvc design pattern Describe how a uh, loose coupling can be achieved with URL configurations. Explain wildcard URL patterns and explain how Django process a request. Write a Django application to display current date and time and also display current uh, date and time with offset. Note uh, use regular expressions. So this you should remember over here. You, you have to use your regular expressions for this. Okay. So next is model second. Explain a template inheritance with example and explain Django filters along with example. Okay, next explain uh, the steps involved in inserting and updating data in Django models. Explain MVT development pattern and hence explain basic template tags. Okay, with an example, describe different types of template loading. And here we have explained the process of configuring databases and defining models in Django. What is schema evolution? Discuss how Django handles schema evolution. Okay, this is all about model second. Next is model third. Demonstrate the steps to activate the admin interface with an example. What are the benefits of using Django admin interfaces? Demonstrate the steps involved in customizing admin interface with an example. Also explain users, groups and permissions in Django. Explain creating a feedback uh, form and processing the submission. Next, we have three questions from model third that is list and explain URL uh, configuration tricks, uh, why they are used, and uh, develop a model form for student that contains this topic chosen for project, language used, and duration with a model called project. Explain how to activate and use Django admin interfaces. This is all about model third, and you have to practice some programs, whatever you have read in your college. Okay. So you should not leave programs at all. Next is model four, define generic waves and explain its types. Briefly discuss about extending generic waves. Describe how to generate non-HTML content like uh, CSV and PDF using Django. Discuss the role of uh, cookies and sessions in Django. What are the key components involved? And how does a uh, sitemap framework work in Django and explain user authentication in Django? What are the key components involved? Describe, uh, describe the process of creating a, a syndication feed in Django. For students enrollment, create a generic class view which displays list of students and detail view that disrupts student details and for any selected student in the list. So these are all from uh, questions from the model fourth. Next is the last model that is model fifth where you have to cover uh, six questions explain XHTML HTTP request and re response explain how iframes can be utilized in Django for content loading what is Ajax and how is it integrated with the Django explain the use of jQuery uh, UI autocomplete in a Django application and discuss the settings required for using JavaScript in Django how can JSON be used with Ajax in Django applications provide an example practice programs as I earlier mentioned you have to go through the model question paper and also the programs whatever you have read so far in your college or university okay so my best wishes are with you dear friends make sure you will share this video to all your friends and I wish you will clear the subject with the flying colors and in the first attempt itself thank you